Welcome back, everybody. My name is Rudy. You're watching Alpha Investments. Ah! And uh, we're going back to Drano Town. Everyone says, Rudy, um, I'm not interested in Drano anymore. What? How dare you? It's the newest magic set. Tell me you're not interested in Drano. What's wrong with you all? It's crazy. Do you see that face? That's a happy face. All right, everybody. So this video is brought to you by my patron, William T. Good luck, William. And uh, may all the good cards be with you and no flopping the taco in the face, man. Good luck, everybody. Um, I guess we'll talk about what's going on with the market, with the Drano cards, the prices. There's some food for everybody. And we will see how the Lady Luck of Pools goes today. Um, so here we go. Starting off with, wow, no showcase frames. Faye Wishes, expensive foil if you can get a, actually a foil rare of that version, by the way. Rowan, coming through with the first Laquan and the Hush Money regular foil rare. Starting off, everybody. So, overall, uh, you know, I just don't feel the hype that War of the Spark brought, everybody. Lately, I've just, I've just been not noticing. I was like, you know, I thought for sure this was going to be like this major hype crazy. Boy, it doesn't really seem to be... Doesn't really seem to be sticking. I don't know what's going on with that. I don't know if it's just a little pessimism in the market. I don't know what's going on with them crazy apples. So, yeah. Yeah, a little bonus troll. Uh, the old champion with the awesome lightsaber. And the Ventress Gargoyle for Halloween there. For the regular foil rare. So, yeah. So that's where we're at on here. I don't, I, I don't know. And again, always remember something, everybody. Markets can remain irrational a lot longer than you can remain solvent. Always remember that, everybody. Wow, where's all our alternate frames, man? We're not getting the showcase cards. Where are they behind? Boom! For the Oko the Trickster. Uh, I think that's not the expensive version, but still. Nice little, was that a Planeswalker deck card? Dance of the Mance! With, of course, the Black Lance Paragon Foil Rare. So... Yeah, that's kind of uh, where things are at right now. It's been kind of a, a wild little ride here in the last... Uh, it's only been a week or so since uh, release. Merfolk, nice little common there. And uh, heading over to... Uh, yes, the Ranger Uncommon Showcase Foil. Murderous Rider, ooh, and a bone double rare. We've never had a triple, though. I think the double's the best you can get. Very, very nice double bonus rare there. That was a really nice pack. Embereth, ah, uh, yes, Extended Art Passage with... Ooh, ooh. Very, very nice pool here, everybody. Robber of the Rich Foil Mythic. Very, very, one of the best cards in the set, in my opinion, there. Very, very cool card. Uh, that was a very nice hit. Wow, haven't seen that one in a while there. All right, nice looking little unicorn, everybody. And here we go. Ah, uh, the Foulmire Knight. Nice little showcase. Three regular showcases. Ah, uh, the Signet that continues to erode in value. Can't believe people are paying almost 20 bucks for that originally. That's crazy. Wishclaw and the Preserver for the regular foil rare, everybody. All right, and the last of the first half of the left chunk of the box, right? Yeah, it's the last pack on the left side there. Very nice Acolyte. And, ooh, that's a beautiful looking blue one there. Oh, that's cool. I love that card. It's so cute. Look at a little puppet there sitting in the tree. And uncommon, common, common for the middle. And, of course, the old Workshop Elders. We only... I don't see this card very often for some reason. It's a tougher one to get, at least it feels like it. Troll King, and of course a Fires of Invention standard foil is rare there, everybody. I know, it's such tiny boxes, only 12 little packs. Man, these things go quick. Another Acolyte, that's a strange back-to-back -back duplicate there. Witch's Oven, cute little card. And another nice little Ranger, some strange duplication. And nothing hiding in the middle, and boom, nice little uh, Teller of Tales bonus mythic. And, uh, yeah, nice little serpent and the Oath Sworn Knight. No crazy pulls in the old, uh, grand finale slot over here yet. All right, we even had any uh, showcase frame or anything? Wow, that's kind of a letdown. Man, that's not so cool so far. Beautiful tactician. Nice little puppet in the tree again. Here we go, nice little sprite. And nothing in the middle. Yeah, bonus little taste of death. Once Upon a Time Extended, very, very nice card, and just a Castle Arden Vell. Regular Foil Rare, wow. Uh, only four packs left. I'm hoping these last four packs, um, we can get some nice showcase or something going on here. That's kind of, uh, that's kind of on the crazy side, you know? Okay. Uh, yeah, wow. No showcase. And no rares. 
Little bonus little command tower, always has a little value there. Sunder and Stroke, and there we go, finally. So these last four packs are probably going to be the, the good stuff, if you ask me. That's kind of where we're, we're feeling here. So we got a very nice showcase foil rare frame. Love Struck and Beast. So that is our first really good hit in that last slot. Very nice. I was like, dude, I guess they're all going to be clumped together in the back. Here we go again. Beautiful, beautiful animating fairy. Love the artwork. Ah, uh, the Fae of Wishes. Nice little bonus rare. And Shimmerin' Dragon, or Shimmer Dragon. Nice little bonus rare again. Vantress Gargoyle and the Giant Killer. There's our two. And I know, yes, I've been seeing the comments, everybody. The giant, the showcase frames and the these last two are going to be box toppers. We already know. Giant Killer. See, here's the thing. If I didn't sell online and you're a Shady Bro store at Timmy's Emporium, I can tell you these are going to be loaded box topper packs. We got the two showcase frame rares clumped together. And of course, we know these last two are going to be the Big Daddy box topper full Monty cards. You know what's coming. And it's kind of sad that, you know, you can figure it out like on an opening like this. Like, we know. I know these are the loaded packs. So a lot of ways to do shenanigans with that for bad people. So very nice pack already. We got a Kendrith Mythic. We got an Acclaimed. And of course, there's our troll. There's our first full Monty box topper. And of course, we know this is also a loaded pack. Here's our second box topper pack, everybody. We ready? It just kind of sucks that we know that. And I'm just telling you all, do not buy loose packs. Just, I don't recommend it. Get a buddy or a friend of yours and split a box two ways or three ways. Don't buy the loose and then shuffle them and distribute them that way. Tomb of Legends from the nice bonus rare. Ooh, Circle of Loyalty Mythic. Oh, baby! That's what we needed. Will, look at William in the clothes. Wow, Emery Lurker of the beautiful full Monty box topper. So again, unfortunately, everyone says you get the showcase frame rares and you get the full Monty box toppers in the back. Kind of sucks, but you know it is what it is. Everybody, they're just they're just not really sorted. Sorry, I just it is way it, it's frustrating, man. It's 2019. How does Wizard still make those kind of mistakes? You know, everybody. Like, but anyways, William, that ending was uh that. <laughs> The last few packs of that box, that dude, if you look at the price of a box topper, foil, emery, holy smokes, that was over $100. I don't know if it's still over $100, but man, those things were expensive. All right, Tree Folk. Oh, nice little opt. Ooh, a curious pair, a double there. That's very nice. That's the first time we've had a double all video here. And no rares in the middle. And we're looking at a Grand Garrison Common. And we've got just a first regular and an acclaimed contender foil rare so you know i'm still i'm very uh uncertain how this stuff is going to age long term i i truly I, I the only thing i can say is i do believe the sealed collector boxes are going to age probably very well they're very expensive they're very tough to get the print run is very low nice hydro Ooh, great henge mythic and a murderous rider regular frame foil rare yeah, by the way, if you even noticed, we haven't had a single box topper mythic at all. We didn't have any in the other box. It's very tough to get. Um, like I said, I don't know how the values, power level, all that stuff's going to age long term. But I really, really do believe the sealed boxes, or anyone who actually gets their hands on them and is willing to keep them sealed, uh, they're probably going to age very well. Animating Fairy, the Knight, and the Unicorn in the middle. Boom! Nice little Teller of Tales again. And oh, it's the same exact order as the other pack. Teller of Tales, Lightsaber Guy... All right, Bra hey, finally, a foil mythic. Brazen Borrower. Oh, wait, we did have a um, Rob the Riches. We had a regular foil mythic. So we do have a second foil mythic. Very nice there. So no box topper mythic, but still, it's not better than nothing. Am I right? All right, and here we go. And, ooh, beautiful. love the Order of Midnight. It's probably one of my favorite uh, showcase on comps. Still worth 3 to $5, too. Still very nice. All right, hey, Bone Crusher bonus there. That's a nice little bonus rare. All right, here we go. Taste of Death. Dance of the Mans, and, ooh, another Emery, wow, really? Boy, you're just, William, I hope you play blue, my friend, because you, you like Emery, because, man, that is Merfolk deck all the way. <laughs> just, my goodness, you got the foil rare version. Um, uh, I don't, do we have a regular box topper version? Because I was like, you're probably going to get one of every version just in this video. That's, that's pretty impressive, man. And yeah, love that Mystical Dispute, very beautiful card there. And no showcase in the first slot. And nothing in the middle slot. Another bonus command tower. And we're looking at a fabled... up. Oh, and there we... Really? Really? 
Feasting Troll Box Topper? We had a Feasting Troll Box Topper in the first box. Really? Come on. Wasn't that the same thing? Am I wrong? Oh, no, I'm sorry. That was the other troll, not Troll King. Oh, I'm... My bad. I thought for sure. I was like, really? What are the odds of getting the exact same box topper? And I was like, come on. All right, Garen Brig Carver. Very nice. All right, here we go. All these little foilies. And Uncommon. Nice showcase to Uncommon. Very nice. And anything in the middle? Nope, just regulars. Another Shimmer Dragon Rare. And the old Talisman. There we go. Of course, it's got to be clumped together. Linden, the Steadfast Star Wars Queen. So there's our two uh, box toppers clumped together. Um, so, like everyone says, apparently, according to the comments now, uh, the next thing we should get is going to be the, uh, showcase frame full Monty cards. Apparently, they're all still clumped together. Reaper. And no one got, ooh, Bone Crusher. Nice little bonus rare. Very nice. Alright, hey, Kenrith. Nice mythic. You know what's funny? Kenrith was the mythic inside the, uh, the other box topper box. And Troll King, boom! There we go. And they, the clumps continue. The Gadwick, the Wizened. There we go. So this is a three box topper box. Will we get a four? Will we get a four box topper box? Come on. We've never had more than four. I think four is the most we've had, Tree Folk. I don't think we've been able to crack that. And nothing in the middle. And we got a nice Tomb of the Legends. And here we go. Linden. Boom, baby. Gilded Goose box topper. There we go. Four box topper box. Very, very nice with the Gilded Goose. Only four packs left today. This is a uh, collector's box, I think number 14 out of about 34 or 33 videos. So we are, wow, we're buzzing through these things. Shepherd for the Uncommon. Nothing in the middle. Come on, let's get, I would love to see a fifth box topper box. We've never had a fifth. And nope, we're back to normal. That's it for the box. Piper of the Swarm, regular rare. So again, you've got all four box toppers done. There's no full Monty box toppers. We may get a showcase frame. But I'm pretty sure you're capped at four per box, so I think these last three packs are going to be quote-unquote dead, or duds. So again, if you're selling loose packs, these would be the individual packs I would sell on eBay. Because that's how shady people do things. So you got to be real careful with that, everybody. Ooh, nice little love story. Oh, baby! <laughs> oh! And like I said, sometimes you may not get a box topper. Look at that. Love struck with an Oko Extended Art non-foil, though. Very, very nice pool. Holy smokes, that paid for the whole pack. You got a troll and a magic mirror mythic in a return. Actually, see, I guess, you know, even though there's no box toppers in these last ones, holy crap, you can still get a very, very nice pull. Very good packs, though. Wow, that was a great pack, everybody. Holy crap. Okay. All right, everybody, here we go. Curious, merchant, eh, tactician. Boom! Oko the trickster, the cheap guy. There we go. And the gilded goose and a pyromancer. See, I was wrong. You know, just because there's no box toppers, man, we still got some nice pulls. Wow, these last few packs still very, very nice. Rimrock, very cool. All right, and nothing. Any rares in the middle? Nope. And here we go. We got ourselves a Sky Blazer bonus, Spyglass, and another Spyglass, really. All right, everybody, that is it. It's very interesting how this works. So you can have, it is official, after doing this 28 box opening, uh, 28 boxes we've opened in 14 videos, two boxes per video. Um, it is definitely official, though, if you look at how the distribution is of the full Monty box topper type cards. So you pretty much get four in every box. That's what everybody's been yelling at me in the comments for. So in box two, we had all four lined up, and then we had nothing else. We had no showcase frames. The other video, we have the two, and the other two are showcase frames. All right, so now it is official. Um, I've been looking at in so it's four per box. It's very consistent, very fascinating. So anyways, William, thanks for being a patron. Enjoy the cards. They are heading your way. And uh, wow, that was, that was not bad, man. That was really cool.